Let's do an eyeshadow look today using the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Palette. I'm going to begin with the MAC 24 Hour Extend Eye Base and I'm going to apply that with my fingers so I can be sure I'm being gentle. Sometimes I give, sometimes I give myself a little exfoliation when I start going in there with a brush, even if the brush is soft. I do not know what is wrong with me. I have a little mascara left on over because I've not been washing my eyes as vigorously ever since they've become so sensitive from using my lash serum. Here's, oh, it's the Icon palette. Did I call it Iconic? Anyway, it's the Icon palette. This is what it looks like. I'm going to begin with just a brown and I'm going to put map out where I want my look. I really like the way this is going on the 24 hour eye base from MAC. Looking good. I like that. I like the way it's blending on top of that. I didn't set that eye base with anything. I went right in on top of it. That's pretty. I like that. So far so good. Then I'm going to take a pinkier one. Alright, this is the one I just used. And now I'm going in to this one. And I'm going to put that one on my lid lid. Like that. This must be my favorite. It's got the biggest dent in it. I'm going to take a pencil brush and stick it back in that same brown. I don't think these have names. I'm pretty sure they don't. Yeah, it's just they're in rows. Alright, I'm going to take that same brown and bring it underneath that I put on the brow bone first. The first one I dipped into. I'm going to take the the more readier brown and I'm going to put that one up here. It kind of looks like a pillow top. She must really like that color because she's got lip liners. I have an eyeliner. Eyeliner pillow top, but I don't know what I've done with it. So I'm just going to use this shadow. I'll use the pillow top lip liner. How about that? I like that new collection. What is it called? No Walk of Shame or Walk of No Shame. I don't know what it's called. I like the the colors in that a lot. If I were to buy any more Charlotte Tilbury, that's what I would get. Okay, I'm just going to diffuse those corners a little bit. I'm going to take the color in the top left hand corner. that one and put that underneath my brow and now I'm going to draw some brows on and I still haven't gotten my Kiko pen that I ordered on Amazon I guess I should have ordered it straight from Kiko I don't know which would have been quicker this is a NYX pencil Micro brow pencil. The color is probably chocolate. I'll look here in just a second. Chocolate. It's a nice thin product. Thin as in the lead part is thin. So you can draw individual hairs. If you can find a color you like in this pencil, it's it's really as good as anything else. Why am I not using my time forward? I think I used it up. Alright, I'm going to put some 
I still have a little bit of mascara on, so the primer is probably still on too, since I did not wash my lashes last night. I'm gonna switch mascaras from my from my usual, and I'm gonna put on the Legendary Lash from Charlotte Tilbury, just to kind of stay in one brand. I haven't tried her newest one yet. What is it called? Something push up? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. That looks pretty good though, right? I bumped in a couple of places. Let's move on with to the foundation. I'm going to use this today. It's the Chanel Le Beige's Eau de Tente Water Fresh Tint, which is Eau de Tente is the French and blah, blah, blah. You got it. You know what I mean. I'm looking. There's my foundation brush. I'm using the... Wow, it's got a lot of fragrance. I'm using the Wayne Goss 01 brush for this. And this color that I have is pretty bright. It's light. So I'm going to keep it to the center of my face. And I'm using it as a primer. I'm going to go in now. This is really, this is very contrasty. Contrasting in brands. Now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild foundation and it, it photo focus, but it's not the dewy one. And I have the color Amber. I think these run pretty light, pretty fair. It, it smells pretty strong. It smells like paint. I remember people talking about that. I don't mind that. The strong Chanel perfumey smell is was a little sharper to my nose than this smell is. Not that I have a problem with either one of them, but the other one was more alarming to my sense my senses. All right, that's the um, Wet and Wild. Looks pretty good, right? Continuing with being contrasty, I'm gonna use my NYX Highlight and Contour, what is it called? It's called Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm going to take, I'm mixing three of the colors on the bottom. I'm avoiding the darkest one. I'm, I'm mixing these three and warming up my face with it. Like this. It's kind of a bronze tour. I'm not being very sp specific with the placement yet. Looks good, doesn't it? Those three colors mixed together are nice. I think it's a cool, a neutral, and a warm. And I mixed all three. Like that. I don't have any Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter in yet. Let's do that. That NYX pencil is good. The Micro Brow Pencil in the color Chocolate. And then this is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is good stuff. It really does set your brows. My brows are still stiff and in place at night when I go to take my makeup off. Hours later. Alright, now I'm going to be more specific and I'm going to use the dark one. Right there. And right there. 
bring it down some. All right. I'm going to, let me take a look at this. This is the white highlight from it. Put that right there, right there. Sounds like a song from the, an old song. What was that? I don't remember. I think it was a hip hop song. Okay, let's do an under eye concealer. I'm going to pull out one from, it's Femme Couture from Sally's. I don't know how I'm going to like this. It's an apricot color. No duh, Jenny. I'm liking it so far. Femme Couture from Sally's Beauty Supply. I kind of like it. And the color is Hydrating Corrector. No one. Apricot is, in, is the color. And I'm going to take, I think I'm going to leave it, I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a drugstore blush. When I did that clean out, I didn't throw all of them away. Coralina is the name of this. Can't get into it though, it's childproof. There we go. Here's what it looks like. Let me find a clean brush so we can see what the color looks like. Looks nice, right? Coralina by Milani. I want to exaggerate the under eyes because you know how I like to drag that down a lot. I'm going to take that reddish brown and pull it on down some more. And then I'm going to, I was doing this one. with a pencil brush and it's the E30 from Sigma. Then I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and hit the hit the border of that brown to further diffuse it. I'm going to use my high, is it high vibes? Yeah, high vibes on my tie, on my, yeah, tie line. I think I'm going to use it. All over. All the way around. This is by Urban Decay. It came out with their new release. Oh yeah. Definitely. Alright, let's do a lip. Let's do a Charlotte Tilbury lip since... Uh, let's see if I can find my Charlotte Tilbury pencil. I found the Pillow Talk eyeliner. It was in the lip liner case. That's why I couldn't identify it. All right, I need to leave these out so I can put them in the right place. Okay, I'm going to use the Pillow Talk, and I think this is the original one. And it's like the same color as my lips. There we go. Original Pillow Talk lip liner. And this one's Lady Stardust. Oh, that's Pat McGrath. We're not going to use that one. And this is Pillow Talk Diamonds. Wow. 
It is indeed, right? You could go with that where it's shiny all over, which I would do during the day. It feels good. It only feels slightly gritty. Or you could tame it down, which is what I should have done in the first place. And this is just regular pillow talk in this form. I think I'm going to tame it down. Who wants to see another funny picture? Pat looks like the guy from uh, Wedding Singer, doesn't he? That wears the red leather jacket. And that's Patrick, little Patrick. And I've decorated for Christmas and that's our new house. And I was a new photographer, so everything I took a picture of looks corny. That was your funny picture of the day. Pat wears a mustache because he feels like he has a weak upper lip. He doesn't like the way his upper lip looks. Alright, that is the... I'll put a, I'll put, of course, I'll put everything in the description box. It's another, it says Pillow Talk. It's in that formula. And this is Pillow Talk Diamonds. And the regular Pillow Talk Lip Liner. So I blotted down some of the diamonds, but it's still shining through. So if you have that, remember that, that once it's there, it's pretty much there. I want to do, did I, I can't remember whether I did the Laura Mercier translucent powder or not. The, ca the camera got exhausted and it's been charging and that's why I'm lost. I forgot where I was. All right, I think we discussed everything. If there's anything that I did off camera, I will list it in the description box. But there's my look using the Charlotte Tilbury Icon. Is that what it's called? The Charlotte Tilbury, the Icon palette. Thanks for watching. I had fun making this look with you. Please tell me in the comments what products you'd like to see me use next. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night. Ta-ta.